I was just sitting here messing around with my network and I thought, uh, I wonder what the difference is on, on local LAN speed between the uh, 5G Wi-Fi and uh, regular Wi-Fi. So I've got my uh, Starlink router. It's got 5G and regular. Right now I'm connected to the regular. I guess it's 2.4G. Um, and uh, this is not internet speed. This is local LAN speed. So, uh, and I know that my you know, LAN will do gigabit speeds. So I've got this open speed test server running on my desktop. It does have a gigabit port on it. <clears throat> so this won't be the bottleneck. So this lets you test a speed test on your local LAN. Uh, again, not internet, because on the internet it's gonna be uh, uh, variable. So let's do a speed test on the uh, 2.4 gig. So it would seem that my 2.4 Wi-Fi card is, you know, roughly 100 megabit per second limit. Let's see what it does on upload. So there's a, uh, now let's switch it to the 5G. In uh, case you're wondering, this open speed test is pretty cool. It lets you check your LAN speeds, but uh, it just creates a server. You just go to that IP address or you know whatever the, the local IP address of that computer is at that port. And then you go to that uh, address on your client machine. So now let's, uh, let's refresh that and do a speed at 5G, see what we get. way faster it's interesting I have seen upload speeds uh, upwards of 300 as well do that one one more time So what you can learn from this is that if you're not connected to your 5G, even if you've got fast Wi-Fi, or excuse me, if you've got fast internet, like you might have gigabit internet, your Wi-Fi is not going to give you gigabit speeds if you're uh, on Wi-Fi, and you'll even be much slower than that if you're not connected to 5G. So always use your 5G if you've got it. Oh, there we go. Look at that upload. Whoa, 400. Yeah, your 5G is definitely the way to go if you have it available. So... <clears throat> Something to think about.